Fantasy. And today I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite games called Chess. It's awesome. Chess is awesome. 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 Now, I'm going to be showing you the basics of chess. Because, but to learn the whole chess, I would be would be doing videos and videos and videos or a video of like two three hours so that would be a lot so um like to learn chess it's just minutes but to under like to master chess it's a uh, long 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 time now in this video i'm gonna be showing you as i do the basics of chess i'm gonna be showing you the names of the of the pieces, how to capture the pieces, the the value of the pieces, some movements, um, some special movements of the pieces. Uh, I'm gonna be showing you um, like uh, how to move every piece, and uh, yeah, and now uh, like now some history now um chess was invented 1500 years ago that is that, that that's just like a long 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 time ago that's that's a lot that just a lot and another thing is that when you wanted to play with a friend that like didn't live, let's say I, 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 I live in China and then I wanted to play someone that lives in Colombia, then they what they did is that they just write, wrote it cards and then they send it the cards and then the guy sent it the cards and then of what they moved and then it, it, the games could just end in years or months. And the last things you should know is that in uh, in chess, um, the boards of chess um, they could be black and white, or they could be green and white. Um, another thing is that in in or green and white or black and white chess, um, there is sixty four squares, sixty four squares. And um, for the pieces, for the pieces of black and white pieces, uh, like black, black will have 16 and white will have 16 or your opponent will have 16 and you will have 16. So in total there in a chest, there will be 32 pieces. Now let's start the game. Okay, now let's start. Uh, so, uh, let's start with names. So the name of these, the tinier ones, are called pawns. Are called pawns. They are worth one point. These are the pawns. I know they have googly eyes. It's very good. This one is a rook. It is worth five points this one is a knife the horse looking one it's worth three points this one is the bishop it's worth three points two the queen which by the way is the most powerful the most powerful piece in the game the queen it's worth nine points the king, well, the king is priceless because if you get the king, you just win the game. Now, uh, I'm gonna just show you something. Um, there's some people that think this one is the queen and this one is the king. So, so, so you don't, so you don't uh, say that. Just remember this. The, the queen, is the king is the most taller one of all pieces okay the king is it's better to remember that the king is the most taller one of all 
blue green is the most taller one of all because I, like that you can know you can know you can know so now I'm gonna show you how to organize the pieces so the pawn is the, all the pawns uh, in total, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight pawns, so the eight pawns have to be like this. Have to be in the front of all of the different other pieces. The, the first and the last piece, the rook, has uh, always to be in the start. Uh, in the start in the um, in the start of the game in the no in the start of here and in the start of here the same for the white the the knights are next the knights go the knights go in the second one um, side by side of the rooks the bishops are next to the queen and the king. The king, the queen, so you know, it's, this is very important, really important. So the queen, if you have, as I told you, I have a white and black chess, but if you have like if this, if this black square and if this white square, this is white and this is green then the queen has always to be or in the black one or in the darker one what is the the green so the queen in its color so if you have a white queen in the white in the white square and if you have a, a black queen in the in the black square or in the green square okay the just the king does it like he, you put it in the white one and the other the white king you put it in the green or black one and well that's how you organize them now um how you move them how you move them so so to move them you have to look at this. So first, I'm gonna start with the king. So just imagine that in the, just imagine that in the king there is a square, a big square, and the king can move like this, 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 like this or like this. So he can go backward, or he can go front, or he can go like this. So. The king may move one square in any direction. Now the queen. The queen may move any number of squares in any direction. So uh, she could just move like this, like this. If there wouldn't anything, she could just like this. Like wherever she wants, like this, like this. Like she could go horizontally, diagonally, or vertically. Now the rook. The rook can the rook may move any number of squares vertically or horizontally. So so uh, so you know it better. Uh, it's just like you just see a plus sign. So you see a plus sign from here to here and from here to here. So you can move it how many squares he wants, like this, like this, like this, or like this, but not diagonal, not like. And he can go backwards too. Now the bishop. The bishop uh, can move. The bishop may move any number of squares diagonal. So the bishop can move like this, this, the bishop, um, like this, like this, so he can move in an X sign, like this, like this, like this, like this, if, um, so diagonally, not vertically or horizontally, just diagonally, okay, 
Now the night. So for the night, imagine there is a big circle. But the circle has to be one here, one here, and then you skip this one and one here. And it has to be no, no, and then no, and then yes. So, um, you have to imagine like kind of a circle so he can move in that circle. So he can move, so the knight may move any two squares vertically and one square horizontally of, of vice versa. Now, so, so you see it like in a different way, you just can move it in a seven, a seven like this or a seven like this. You could move it in an L, an L like this, or like this, or even you could do this, this, another seven, or this other seven, or maybe if you blind it here, you could do another seven here. Okay. And for the last but not least, the pawn. So, the pawn may move forward one square vertically or attack forward one square diagonally. So he could, let's say this is here and he could attack here, but he can just move one square. But uh, pawns may move two squares their first turn, in their first turn. So they may move two squares, they can move two squares. Now, um, I'm gonna show you, now I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you some tricks. So, special moves and check. Special moves are, I'm gonna start with the pawn promotion. So, um, let's say this happens. So, I'm the black and you're the white, okay? I'm the black and you're the white. And let's say this is happening, okay? And you have this piece here. So, instead, of doing this and eating her, you could do this. And this is what happened. I know it doesn't seem very, seem very, doesn't seem very exciting, but it is because look. Uh, pawn promotion transforms a pawn that reaches its eighth rank into a rook knight bishop or queen so let's say let's say you just passed all 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 you passed all of this and then now you're here what happens here when you're here as i told you you can go to you if you have they have eaten all your pieces and you just have this then you could choose one of these pieces you could choose one of these pieces one of these your white, the white pieces. You can choose one of these, one of these pieces to be yours. But if you still have this, if you still have this, then um, in, well, in my chess, I have two queens. So you could just do this. So you could, I know you, well, maybe because I do it, I choose the queen. So in that one, what happens there is that I, I um, become a queen. And now I'm gonna show you checkmate. So let's say after, since we're in this, in this situation, this, so you're moving here and I moved here. No, and I moved here. And then I moved here. What happened there? 
happen a checkmate. Because if you move here, I eat you. And if you move here, I still eat you. So that is a checkmate. So a checkmate wins the game. Checkmate occurs when the king is under threat of capture of capture with no possible with no defense possible. So that would be a checkmate and I lose. Okay, now um now let's do the pawn and pawn. So let's say this happened. Let's say this happened. And so since your start it's just uh, this happens here and then I start here and then what happened is that you might be thinking oh but but what is that exciting of what and you might be saying oh but I want to eat you and those are the last two pieces and then and then you still have this here so you say, oh, I want to eat you. Those are the last two pieces. Oh my gosh, I want to eat you. And you can't. Because you just can't do this. And you just ate me. That is a pawn and bazaar. When a pawn, when a pawn advances two squares in one move for the next turn only the opponent pawn may capture it as if the pawn moved only one square forward so i could just do this or you could just do this. but if if i move here and you just move this one here at the next one I can eat you here or you can eat me here. If this just happens, you just have to do it like right now. Like, okay, I do it because if I don't do it now, because if I don't do it now, or if you don't do it now, then you can't do it in the next turn. Okay, now let's do check. Yeah, check. Okay, so check is maybe when this happens. Yeah, when that happens. That is not checkmate because I can move wherever, I mean, when this happens. That is not checkmate because when it's checkmate, you can't, you don't have any possible moves. So that is check. I just say, when you're here, I just say check. And then, and then uh, you're just like, it's an advertisement that I tell you for hey I'm, yeah, I'm gonna win so uh check is when player kings is under threat of capture a player must get out of check it at if all at if at all possible so you can just go here or here but oh another thing of the pawn and another thing is that you can't do the the pawn the the pawn and peasant uh, here because you you just can't do it with another with another piece that is not the pawn. Okay, so let's start with the horse. Um. So let's say this happened and so you can eat me here because it's still in a 7 or an L even if this happened or even if this happened you can still capture me. Still capture me. Now let's say this happened. No, let's say this happened. You can still Capture. You can still capture. Still. Even if there is, even if there is a rook here, 
even if there is a rook there and you're trying to hit the queen, even there, back. And the nerve of king is that, look, if there's even two pieces here, and at the end there's whatever piece, you can still jump over those pieces and, and capture the piece. You can still jump over those pieces and capture the piece. And now let's do for the bishop. Yeah, for the bishop. For the bishop, let's say this. So this is a white bishop. A white bishop. So the bishop can move. The bishop can move how many spaces he wants, as I told you. So he can if this rook is here, the bishop the bishop can capture this one. The bishop can capture this one I mean. The bishop can capture that one. Or the, if it's here. Wherever the wherever um, it is, the bishop can capture it. But if it's if it's uh, if it's a even a black wish if it's a black bishop um it can just eat in the black in the if it's a if a, a bishop that can just move in the black ones then he eats in the black ones not in the not in the white ones because he, he can't just move to the white ones now with we'll with the rook. So the rook can move as many as he wants. You see, he can move as many as he wants. So let's say this is the horse here and she can he can capture the horse here. Or even if it's here, he can she can capture it or he or here. Okay. Now for the for the for the king. Well, the king is more easier to it's more easier for not capture you because the king the king um like you have to get really close to him like in the square. But if you're not in the square, he can't eat. But if you're here, he eats you. If you're here, he eats you. Like if you're in the, the imaginary square that I told you, then the king eats. captures. Okay, now the queen. How does the queen capture? Well, the queen can basically capture, capture, Capture like this. She can capture like this. She can capture like this. She can capture however she wants. She can capture however she wants. As many squares as the things. Um, now the pawns. The pawns that I told you of the pawn and and Bizon, well, the pawn, uh, you, the pawn can eat like this, or the pawn can eat like this. He can eat diagonally. Even if you're in the pawn and Bizon, he still moves diagonally. And uh, the pawn, um, the pawn, when he when he eats, he just eat. He can just eat. He can just. I mean, he can just capture. He can just capture when he's moving the way of his opponent. So if whites are here, the black the black pawn can just capture that way. A black pawn cannot cut. 
cannot capture the way of the the way of his team of the black ones. He cannot capture like this. Just if just if like um if if you 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 put him into a queen, he could just like this because it's a queen, but like normally he could just Well guys I'm really sad. Um I hope you like this video. I I love teaching you. Um I really I really like teaching you um a lot of things like um in the cooking, like the book and well, now chess. So see you in the next video. Bye.